Hey guys and welcome to a prepper task guide, the Punisher part 2. For this task, we're going to need to kill 12 scavs on a shoreline whilst using a suppressed weapon and we're also going to need to hand over 7 found in raid lower half masks. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So when you are doing this task, you do need to collect these lower half masks. Now you do need to kill a number of scavs again on shoreline so you might as well just collect these whilst you are doing them they don't have to obviously be directly from shoreline so you can go to other maps like customs or whatever and if you just happen to see some then grab them then they don't need to be all in a single raid but they do need to be find in raid and you cannot buy them directly from the flea market they are extremely common though when you do actually go out and about and kill scavs so it shouldn't really be that hard to do and now I'm going to show you a walkthrough of where these scavs spawn on shoreline. So here on the map in front of you is showing you all of the spawns for shoreline. As you can see there are a lot more to the left hand side of the map than there is to the right hand side. But we are going to start over at the road to customs side. Whatever side you spawn on, 9 times out of 10 there won't actually be scavs close by so you are going to have to make your way from one location to the other. Now there are a few different routes you can take but I'm just going to mainly talk about with these scav spawns and basically whereabouts they are. So the road to customs area, they mainly walk on the grassy wooden section on the right hand side of the road, the eastern part of the road where you do have the water. They do walk from the top of the road to customs all the way down to the road at the rail bridge extract, the new extract that they added down by the tower they can also go inside all of them now the very bottom of the map the southeastern part of the map where you do have the construction yard with the giant crane now this is actually a pretty decent amount of scav spawns they do spawn in that area as well as they do cross the road and follow the road all the way up and down the entire blue fence area you can get around about five to six scavs here now over by the radar dome which is the weather station you can get around about four to five scavs they do normally patrol inside the area they don't really go around the outside and if they do it's mainly by the main road continuing that road we're gonna head over to the power plant now the power plant does have sniper scavs at the very top there can be two of them that spawn so that might be an easy kill for you and you can get around about three to four scavs down below and they do actually go over the bridge where you have the actual electric towers are continuing down south we're going to head down to the gas station and the pier now this is a pretty juicy amount of scavs if you do spawn at the road to customs area i would actually recommend if you head down here first then make your way up into the resort but for down here they do spawn by the gas station as well as the patrol the road down by the ocean as well as all the way down to the pier and the senator can spawn at the pier so make sure you carry yourself a good decent range continuing along the road you do have the scav island now this one is actually really easy to snipe onto it is around about 150 meters if you do want some zeroing and they do mainly stand out in the open there is a little hut that they can walk into but normally get around about four to five scavs at this location. Now at the tunnel and the Ruin Road Extra, this is a pretty decent spot. You can get around about three to five scavs here and they do walk up onto the hill and they can sometimes sit in the bushes, just like wonderful extract campers. Now heading up the road again into the town, there isn't actually, I haven't had much luck with scavs spawning here, but they do spawn here and they can get around about two to three scavs. Now if you go to your east and head over to the cottage, this is somewhere where Senator can spawn. You can get around about three to four scavs again that walk in between both of the cottages. But of course if Santa's there, they can actually go out into the construction site opposite the cottage on the eastern part of the road. Now continuing up towards the resort, you do have a wonderful bus station or a little like depot area where you got a few buses and some cars. You can get around about three to four scavs. Now, when it comes to the main resort, you can get around about five to six scavs that do wander west wing room, east wing, as well as the admin. They do walk along the corridors. It's quite rare that you see them on the second floor, but if you are by 301, they can actually path all the way up to 301. As well as at admin, they can walk out the back of admin 
by the tennis courts as well as on the other side at the back of east wing they can walk out by the children's play area continuing out the back of the resort you do have the good old extract that's now disappeared uh, the rock extract and you too you can get two sniper scavs that spawn on top of the sniper rock up there as well as a few scavs dotted around near the bunker now for the final location and these scavs are absolutely cracked if you head west you are going to reach this rock which is just basically in between the bunker area and the swamp area in fact it's, it's quite close to the swamp area you can get around about three to five scavs but do bear in mind that they can see through the grass where we can't so good luck i have been one tapped by a scav here that had m61 and i finished a giant loot run on resort so you do just need to watch yourself if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to prana.tv discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out piranha.tv as well that's a one-stop shop for all of your guides tasks keys all those kind of things in one location hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video and a big thank you to all of my patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and a huge thank you to J Dam, freddy and beansy without this kind of support i wouldn't be able to do what i do